I've come down to a National Trust place, which is in, um, start again. Oh, nearly went in the water. Welcome to another vlog. This week I've popped out to a National Trust uh, place which is called Belton House, um, about 45 minutes from where I live. I've really only come out for one shot today. Uh, I was on Facebook last week, um, and by the way, I've had bad man flu, really bad man flu. Well, I thought that was it. Last week and a half, God blimey, been really rough, but I've survived and uh, yeah, made it through it. So. While I was off in man flu, I was uh, looking through on Facebook and I spotted this image from um, somebody that had posted up a picture of this boathouse here at uh, Belton Park. Now, Belton Park is a place that I've visited several times in the past, um, not for quite a few years, but I'd never seen this boathouse. I didn't know it was here. So I thought, oh, that could be a nice shot to, uh, to do. Immediately thought of long exposures. I don't know why, but uh, immediately thought of long exposures. So I've got the, um, it's because you've got the lake here, obviously in front of the boathouse. So I thought, right, I'm gonna come out today and uh, see if I can get this shot of the boathouse. Even if I don't get it and it's not a great shot, at least I've seen it, I know where it, where it is and how to get here and what the different compositions are like. And it's a nice place. I've skirted all the way around, um, but I think this is really the only place, this is the only composition that I've found that I actually like. But I think different parts of the year there might be different compositions. So yeah, one image was all I come out for and um, I've taken it. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I took it before I recorded this piece to camera because otherwise there wouldn't be a lot to record about if the uh, image was rubbish. But I have taken it. Um, I've taken several long exposures. I've had um, the, because I've got the polarizer on just to take this glare out in the front. I've also had to put a graduated filter on just because it's so um, bright in the top of the sky and obviously then the dark um, of the lake and the trees around the boathouse. Now it's a bit of a shame because the boathouse is in shadow. When I came here there was a little bit of sunlight coming through um, and I think that really the best time of day to get this is when the sun's rising early in the morning and it gets some really nice light because you can see it's a yellowy coloured boat, uh, sorry boat yellow yellow coloured house and I think it therefore would lift it really nice with some sunlight on it but this morning was dreadful it was raining hard all, all morning didn't think I was going to come out so um, yeah I've taken a few shots um, as I say polarizer graduated filter um, about four minute exposures so they look okay um, I've, what I've done here I don't know whether you can see from where you're standing but there's a, uh, a tree that's sticking out of the water that's actually um, nicely positioned pointing up towards the boathouse so I've used that as my foreground I focused on that and I focused on the house I've taken two exposures um, and yeah four minutes each one and they look okay so we'll see what they come out like when I process them but as I say I only really wanted to come for one image today and hopefully if I can get an image that I'm happy with it it's been a good day out if I don't get an image doesn't matter uh, good I'm out um, I've met a lady from a local Facebook group and we had a good chat, so that was great. And uh, yeah, so I'm then going to wander off. Um, I've got to get back quite early tonight, so as I say, I think this will be a short vlog today for you guys. But um, I'm going to wander off, try and maybe get a shot on the way out. But as I say, today was about this image anyway, so. I'm sure I made progress. Still I feel this hunger. Like the journey just begun It's the storm inside That's breaking my heart each morning While it keeps it going It's been driving my life Into both joy and sorrow And there's still
short and sweet this week. Um, shouldn't forget your National Trust places if you're a landscape photographer. Uh, always accessible all year round. Um, good parking, good coffee, just had a nice cappuccino. Uh, yeah, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't ignore them. Always a good place to come if you do want to pop out for a bit. So you will have seen the picture. I only come out for that one picture today, so this is a short vlog. Um, hopefully it's come out okay. If it hasn't, I don't care because I, know, I now know where it is. Uh, I now know the time of day to come and the right light conditions and the right time of year as well. So yeah, that's definitely been worthwhile. So I'm gonna head back now. Uh, I'm heading out for a Christmas party tonight. So that should be okay, hopefully. Um, and I shall see you on the next vlog. I hope you've liked this little short vlog today. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.